Hi friends, welcome to another episode of Essence of Life. Today I have come up with a very current issue. What is that? That's the cyanide poisoning. Back home in India at the moment, we have a major calamity there. A family of six, they are wiped out because of the cyanide poisoning. Anyway, that the case is under investigation and all those. So I don't like to talk anything about that, but we'll see what is cyanide and how that affect our health and we'll see what is our responsibility if we have seen some such cases or anything at all what is the responsibility as a citizen so let's dive into the topic cyanide is very unstable in its chemical bonding the people who have that investigative mentality they have all the information in the google a fingertip away all the information is there suppose is anyone died in our family or among our friends or anyone anything like that most of the time the relatives and friends and all this nest of kin won't like the postmortem because because of the emotional background anyway but if we have seen anything like that or anybody if we encounter such a situation there is a simple tip if we could take 5 ml of blood from the person if we could instruct the doctors or anyone and keep it in the nearest lab anywhere preserve it for the test and it is very easy to rule out the cause of death most of the time people will be brought by the brain stem death or the massive heart attack something like that so everyone will be thinking in that way but the reason will be something different so this is the simple and easiest way to rule out the cause of the death only will need 5 ml of blood how many years pass by they will be able to investigate and find the find out the reason high performance liquid chromography that is the name of the test where they can detect all the components in that and it is just for the public awareness i am telling you about this information the combination of cyanide is carbon and nitrogen and it is a potassium cyanide sodium cyanide or hydrogen cyanide it is available in three forms liquid gaseous and solid when it reaches the stomach with the food it will take 20 minutes to 1 hour for the death to occur by hydrolysis it divides into hydrogen cyanide if it reaches the blood directly the death will occur within 3 to 5 minutes it's that powerful the terrorists use it as a chemical weapon they will carry it in the glass containers glass tubes and if they are caught at the same time they will just break it by biting it so that there will be a break in the tongue or in the lips anywhere and it will mix with the blood and within 2 to 5 minutes the death occurs and brain stem death will be occurred at the same time then you will be thinking if it is that dangerous why are we using this we are using it in the plastic industry in the pharmaceuticals and in the research labs in photography and in gold mining like uh, brightening of the gold will happen with this one so these all areas where we use this what are the natural sources of this cyanide that is the apricot peach tapioca these all contains a smaller amount of cyanide but in the apple seed the amount of cyanide content is little bit high so whenever we are giving some fruits to our kids better be careful not to give the seed but the seed also if somebody take 200 to 1000 seeds if we crush that and take it it is really poisonous so better to avoid the apple seeds how the cyanide works inside the body when that enter into the blood it as you all know hemoglobin is the pigment which gives color to the blood and that contains iron and this iron is combined it will combine with the cyanide and this cyanide this won't release the oxygen to the cells 
so literally the cells will be dying without oxygen so the patient will show the hypoxic effect of this if you look at a person after this cyanide poisoning how he will look like he will look like his his skin will be cherry red color and he will show all the symptoms of hypoxia the heart rate will be high respiratory rate will be high and the patient will be sweating profusely and he will have a severe muscle pain and the patient will show like having a severe massive heart attack so the, the patient will show all those symptoms the doctors instruct that if we see a person like that what we have to do we have to give the oxygen so we have to remove all the tight dresses and then wash him with soap and water and take him to the hospital as soon as possible and the treatment in the hospital will be the injection sodium thiosulfate or cyanocobalamin that is the major uh, line of treatment at the moment hope you are going to follow this tip and please pass this message to others as well if you like my channel please subscribe and give me a like and leave a public comment as well see you in the next video stay well and blessed and healthy bye jaya Thank you.